everybody. This is Michelle. I'm here at the Francia Beach Club in Los Cabos, Mexico. And we're going to run you through a one-hour yoga sculpt class this morning. So you're going to be, it'll be like a yoga flow, just adding in some extra muscle work with a little bit of weights. So um, maybe not too heavy, two or three pounds. Um, if you don't have any hand weights this morning, you can have to grab yourself uh, something at home to use your hand weights. Maybe some cans of soup or uh, cans of like almond butter, whatever you have at home that might work for a little bit of hand weight. Um, you'll also need maybe something to squeeze between your legs. So a yoga block, a cushion. Um, some people will be using little tubs of protein powder to squeeze between their knees. So whatever you have that you can use. Also blankets or cushion for your knees. Those will be the best sensitivity in your knees. And uh, maybe a blanket or a cushion for your head. If you know you need a little bit of a lift of your head um, so that your ears stay on your shoulders. So go ahead and just take a moment to grab those few props, and then we will get started on the mat. We're going to start lying down on our backs today, and she lost them. Okay, so when you're ready, settle into your mat and lie down on your back. And uh, even though, of course, you've just woken up, go ahead and close your eyes again and just settle in. Take a moment, just roll the shoulders down the back, widen the collarbone. Feel really heavy between the shoulder blades on the mat. The back of the palms will face up. Right now, just an anatomical neutral position. So the thigh bones will just roll out to the side. The thighs will be heavy. The tailbone will be heavy. And the feet will naturally just flop out to the side. Just be here and take a few big deep breaths. As you inhale, just let your belly rise. As you exhale, let your belly fall. And this morning, if you're having any shortness of breath, if you're feeling like maybe you're not taking nice slow breaths, put your right hand on your tummy and your left hand on your heart. And you can really feel the belly rise into your hand on your inhale. And the belly fall, get heavy towards the spine on your exhale. breaths here. As well, feel the ribs expand out to the side and into the back of the mat. And then feel the ribs close in and down as you exhale. Starting to see some people joining in now. So we'll just take just a few more breaths here. If you're just joining us, you use a little bit of hand weight this morning. So a couple of two or three pound weights. Something to squeeze between your knees, so perhaps a yoga block or a cushion or a towel. So let's take one deep cleansing breath in through the nose, fill your lungs completely, and open the mouth. Exhale out there. Okay, take two more of those breaths in through the nose, fill your lungs, belly rises, completely fill your lungs. Open the mouth, exhale up the air. And one more of those. Okay, let's take a nice big stretch like you just got out of bed. So point your toes and reach your arms overhead. Allow your ribs and your chest to lift a little bit here. Big, big stretch. And behind you, your arms interlace your fingers. And then stretch your body off to the right side and push your hips a little bit to the left. Call this a banana pose. Just a nice big stretch down your left side. Again, breathing deep. Inhale, create lots of length and stretch all the way through the rib cage. One more exhale. Right. Inhale your way back to the center. And then go ahead and stretch your hands up towards your left and gently press your hips to the right. Take a nice big stretch down your right side. And then we'll make our way back into the center here. Alright, why don't you bend up your knees? Put the head resistance towards the chest, but a little bit out to the side. You're going to hold behind your knees, behind your hamstrings, and draw some nice big circles around your low back. And then take a few more in the opposite direction. Now you just to take a moment now with your hands on your knees and roll your pelvis forward and back with your palms. So 
tailbone becomes heavy, and then the low back becomes heavy. Just take a few rows, all the back of the times. So imagine if there was like perhaps a little grape under your low back. So you're creating space for the grape, and then you're squishing your grape. Still keep the knees a little bit wide, a little wider than your hips. A couple more times. So think of kind of tilting your pelvis. Your tailbone might lift a little bit as you go back and then forward. All right. So you're going to roll your pelvis towards you. Think of tucking your tail and gently pressing low back into the mat. Take your hands and put them on the top of your knees. I want you to create a little bit of pressure there. Mm -hmm. So you're kind of pushing into your knees, you close your eyes, relax your shoulders, and start to hollow out the belly. So think of pulling in the ribcage, tucking your tail in, so we'll say if there was a little marble on your pubic bone, it would roll into your belly button there. A little tap. But the pressure is the secret, so create that little push into your knees. What we're doing here is firing into our pelvic floor, our deep abdominals, engaging the energy that's deep down in the pelvis. The mula bandha, the rock in your pelvis, the energy in your tummy, the mula bandha. So really nice and hot and energy into the tummy. And making sure we're still breathing. So in through the nose, out through the nose. And every time you exhale, create that little bit of extra pressure, that little extra tuck of your tail into the mat. Take two more slow deep breaths right here. Right, so go ahead and release. Release your feet down to the mat, the width of the mat, so your feet will be quite wide. And then roll your knees side to side a few times. We call this the windshield wiping of the legs side to side, just to shake up the hips. Open the hips a little bit this morning. Now I invite you to hold on to some hand weights for the next part here. So your head chair, what you're using, like I said, some cans of soup, whatever you have in your house, it might be two or three pounds. So raise those arms up into the air. Armpits will be heavy. Palms will face towards each other here. Feet plant onto the mat. Feet will be about hip bone distance apart. And just find all the parts of your feet. So the middle of your heel, the pinky toe, and the big toe. On the inhale, I want you to lift up your hips and raise your arms behind you. And on your exhale, lower everything down nice and softly. So I'm starting to squeeze a little bit into the bum here. Inhale to lift everything up. And then exhale to lower everything down. Keep the softness to your elbows. Careful not to rock on the elbows. Raise the hand weights. And so you're powering through your heels. I want you to think of pulling your bum towards your feet as you lift up. That way you shouldn't get a cramp in your hamstring if you think of that. You have to feel a little bit of work into the hamstrings and the glutes. Let's go for three more of those. Inhale to lift. And exhale to lower down. And last two. We'll check in to make sure the toes are spread nice and wide. Just keep thinking of pulling your bum towards your feet or reaching your knees over your toes. We're going to take one more and we're going to lift this one up. We're going to hold it up there. We're going to start to draw some circles with the arms. So arms go behind you and then out and around down towards the floor. Inhale the arms up and then exhale to open them out and around. Inhale through the nose up. We keep that breath in and out through the nose now and then down and around. Good. Start to add in the hips as the arms come up and then when they come around and down, lower the body about halfway. And as the arms come up, Lower those hips, lift those hips right back up again. Just keep adding in the arms and the hips moving together. Okay, one more time in this direction. And then pause at the top and reverse. Okay, so lower the hips, lower the arms, halfway, circle the arms and lift up those hips again. Just gently, think you're gently squeezing a yoga block between your knees. So knees and feet stay in line with each other. Knees track over the second toe of your foot. Go for two more times. Last two. Yeah, nice. Last one. We're going to hold this one up. Mm -hmm. Good. Take those hand weights and put them on the pieces of your hips. So your hips will be a little bit heavier now. Mm -hmm. Lower your bum a couple inches and then lift it right back up again. 
Inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. Really heavy between the shoulder blades so that you're not sliding backwards. And that's that feeling of kind of gently pulling your bum forward towards your feet. I mean, your feet kind of hug towards each other. Go for two more. Last two. This next one, we're going to hold it up there. Keep a little tucking of the ribcage. Engagement of the mula bandha. Lift your right heel. Place your right heel down. Lift your left heel. Left heel down. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. As you lift your heel, think of articulating the foot from the heel to the ball and the ball back down to the heel. One more time each side. Taking up those ankle joints this morning. Good. Now lift up both heels and lower both heels. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Let's go for four more. And for three. And it's okay if the bum has dropped a little bit. You just want to keep it level. Level left side to right side. Last two. Last one. Let's hold up those heels. Last little bit here. Lower your bum another inch and lift it back up again. Go for six. Lower and lift for five. Little bum squeeze, little squeeze of the tummy for four. For three. Last two. Last one. Let's hold it up. Take those arms into the air. Take a big inhale through your nose. Heels can come down as you slowly exhale and melt your spine down. One, four, five, eight. Time. Good. Take those weights to the floor for now. Put them on either side of the mat so they're easy for you to reach. Hug your knees back into your chest again one more time. Good. Rock side to side. Draw those circles around low back one more time. Good. So we're going to be making our way up into a seated position. So you can either come up slowly or if you're feeling a little bit adventurous this morning, perhaps you might like to move behind your legs and rock and roll with the ties backwards and forwards. Have any low back trouble, please? Nice and low back. Make your way up as you can. Coming up to a seated position, and we're going to roll over onto all fours now. Really just a Make sure this hand is close by, beside you. And your feet can either be tucked toes or untucked toes for now. I just want you to be nice and safe on your knees. Use a blanket as you need. Let's take some cat and cow. Let your belly fall. Roll your shoulders back. Squeeze shoulder blades together. And gently gaze up. Keep the arms straight, just tuck your tail, round your spine, push the floor away. I want you to feel those shoulder blades stretch away from the spine this morning. Inhale, belly ball, shoulders roll back, widen the collarbone, gently gaze up, and exhale, tuck spring and round. Rounds here, inhale to arch. And exhale to round. Just in a moment. And just waking up the body this morning, so go ahead and take some shifts of your hips side to side a few times. Stretch a little bit to the hips. If your back is tight, you can draw some circles. And then keep playing with the feet, right? Tucked or untucked, depending on how the, the knees feel or how the knees need some support. Okay, take a moment here. We're going to hold the pause in neutral. So right to the center. Tuck in the ribcage, tuck in the bottom belly. And then push the floor away. A little softness to your elbows. The right leg can stretch back now. Toes are on the floor. Keep the hips facing down forward. Go ahead and grab a weight into your left hand and bring your elbow in close to your body. So tricep press here. We're going to squeeze that left tricep to extend the arm and then bring it back. The elbow stays very still. Exhale to squeeze. Inhale to release. Option now to raise up that right leg into the air. Exhale to squeeze. Inhale to release and add it in. So I'll stretch the arm back. And then bend, I'm going to pull the knee in towards my leg. So the arm and the leg extending. Inhale in. Exhale back. We'll go about five more, please. Go five. Go four. So you need to do these tricep presses without any weight. So you've got the arm and extension and the we'll squeeze. Two. And for one, we're going to hold this here. That left arm forward now. Option to have that weight in the hand. You take an inhale, and on your exhale, the arm and leg move out to the side, not too far. Same distance away from the spine for the arm and the leg. Exhale it out. Inhale it in. Good. Take your time. Go for about six more of these. Right arm presses into the mat, and you're pushing the floor away from you. Good. Little 
little softness in your left elbow. If you're feeling this a bit too much into your neck, I would let that weight go. Let's go for two more. Last one here. Good. Bring the knee down. Bring the arm down. Good. Take a rest there. Shake that out with one round of cat cow. Let the belly fall. Roll the shoulders back. Arch your spine. And then tuck the tail in the belly and down. This one. Let's take the other side. All right. So wait till they go now into your left hand. Right hand. <laughs> right hand. Left leg stretches back. That's it. Good. And just take a moment with that foot on the floor just so you can really feel the hips nice and level. Start to raise up the right arm. Elbow's going to come close to your rib cage. And then just start with the tricep presses. So stretch back, right arm, squeeze. Inhale to return. Exhale to squeeze. Inhale to return. And after maybe three or four, start to feel maybe that left leg start to lift up. Flex the toes down towards the floor. You'll feel the hip bones stay level. And then add in the leg, right? Arm extends, and as the arm bends, the knee pulls into the chest. You got it. Exhale it out. Inhale to return. So you're still kind of thinking a little bit of mula bandha. The rib cage pulls in, the tummy's in, bottom ribs tuck in to protect the back. Let's go for three. For two. For one. Let's extend arm and leg and pull. Bring your right arm forward. Take an inhale to stretch. On the exhale, the arm and the leg can go to the side. Same distance away from spine. Inhale to return. This is a really nice way to test the strength of the spine, to strengthen the spine and strengthen the obliques. Exhale out. Inhale, return. We've got pinky toe facing down. So the kneecap faces down on that back leg. Yes. Let's go for a four. For a three. For a two. For a Last one, into the center. Go ahead and take the knee down, the arm down. Okay. And we'll just do a quick wrist shake here. So you can stay on all fours if you like. You can play the drums. Another nice one is to bring your fingertips towards you. And just soften your elbows. And then just draw a few circles with your hips. Keep your palms heavy to the floor. Okay. Let's take a moment there with this shake. We'll come back into our all fours tabletop position. Walk your hands a little bit forward on your shoulders. All right. On your exhale, press your hips back to your heels. Stretch from the fingertips all the way to the hips. Right. Knees still down on the floor. On your inhale, pull your body all the way forward. Open the chest. Squeeze the shoulder blades together. On your exhale, press your hips back to your heels. On your inhale, pull the body all the way through. You take a moment here, open the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Take a couple more of those. You start to find all the muscles between the shoulder blades. You start to find the pads of the fingertips. The fingers always spread wide. You always look at your middle and index finger facing forward. Let's take one more time back. Coming through the tabletop and holding right there in tabletop position. Good. Tuck your toes. I want you to hover your knees a couple of inches off the mat. Push the floor away from you. Feel the shoulder blades spread away from the spine. Mm -hmm. Really hollowing out the armpits here. Take a couple of breaths and use your hovering. Good. Feel free to take those knees down anytime. Otherwise, start to press your hips to the sky. Gaze towards your navel. Downward facing dog. Adjust so that the feet are about as wide as the hands. Hands about shoulder distance apart. Just take a few pedals of your knees this morning to shake out those legs, those hamstrings. Down dog, you are trying to get a really long spine. So the legs will straighten over time, or if you have a bit more flexibility. If you're tight in the legs this morning, please bend your knees so that your tail will send to the sky just a little bit more. Let's inhale the right leg high to the sky. Bend your knee, flex your ankle, open your hip. Think of your right knee being your highest point. And start to draw circles with your thigh bone this morning. Your thigh bone. Yeah. If you're circling a pot of soup with your thigh bone in your hip socket. Make sure you're breathing. Careful not to hold your breath here. Do a few more in the opposite direction. There's always a gaze towards your navel, and then that way your neck is nice and long. Head between your biceps. Good. 
inhale, stretch the right leg all the way back. Look forward. Shift forward, shoulders over the wrists. Right leg is coming all the way through. Foot between the hands. Left knee comes down to the floor. Okay, take a moment. The weights will be nearby. So we'll have a choice to bring the weights into this exercise here. Left knee over left ankle. Back toes tucked or untucked for now. We're going to raise up those arms into the air. Option to add in some efforts here. Take an inhale to stretch out. Good. And on the exhale, we're going to bend the elbows so that we're in a 90 degree angle elbow. Roll close the arms. And then again, inhale, reach up. Weights will touch the sky. And then exhale, bend the elbows. Inhale, reach up. Exhale to bend. Rib cage tucked in, belly button tucked in. Let's go for three. Super nice. Right hip forward, left hip back for two. Last one. Okay, holding it here, bringing your knuckles together, knuckle to knuckle. On your inhale, open up your arms and your chest. And then exhale, knuckles can come back. Now, option to raise up that back knee and maybe cut it to a little bit of a higher lunge. Inhale to open. And exhale to close. Here, keep the ribs tucked in. Belly button the spine. Right hip forward, left hip back. Back leg can have a little micro bend. Two more. Last one. Okay, we're going to open up those arms, turn the palms to face up, soften the elbows, and turn into warrior two. Okay, very, very nice. Back toes can turn in about 10 degrees. Front foot is straight, and front knee always points towards the pinky toe side. Okay, super nice. On the inhale, straighten the front leg, reach up, connect the palms, and gaze up towards the sky. On your exhale, gaze forward. Bend your knee, come back into your warrior two. Good. Let's take a few of those. Inhale, reach up, connect the palms. And then exhale, bend the knee, find your warrior. Yes. Good. Take a few rounds. Hold your pace. And the warriors should be about heel to heel alignment or heel to arch. Let's go for four more. Really heavy into your front heel. A nice connection with your back pinky toe on the mat. Last one here. We're going to hold our warrior. Just take a moment to make sure that you can see your big toe as you look down. Back arm goes behind you. Your front arm's coming up. Soften the elbows and turn your chest to the sky. So lots of names for this. They call this the dancer's warrior, exalted warrior, the peaceful warrior. Take a couple more nice deep breaths here. So nice. One more inhale wherever you are. Your exhale will bring you back to the warrior. Inhale to hold, and then exhale, window the arms, find the floor, step back, and we'll meet in a plank position or on tabletop. You can always go straight to downward facing dog if you like, but otherwise, let's hold our plank. Again, dome the upper spine, push the floor away from you, tuck tail, pull the rib cage in. Good. Take an inhale breath here. Good. On your exhale, we're going to modify the first one here today. Touch your knees, press your hips back. Good. Bring your elbows in close to your ribs and chest and chin touches the floor. Untuck the toes, pull the heart through and find a baby cobra, elbows into your body. Super nice. And then lower down. Let's take one more baby cobra. Inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Good. Tuck your toes, press up through tabletop or straight to plank. Hold for the breath. And then we'll meet in downward facing dog. Bend the knees, press the hips to the sky. Down dog, just think of turning your biceps forward. Feel the shoulder blades slide down the side of the rib cage. Tuck in the rib cage and the belly. Another deep breath here. Good. Let's inhale the left leg high to the sky. Bend the knee, flex the ankle, open the hip, and stack the left hip on top of the right. Start to draw those nice big circles again with your left thigh bone. Let's take a few in each direction here. Just make sure you're breathing nice and slowly. In and out through your nose. On your next inhale, we're going to stretch that left leg back, strap the hip, and look forward. Shift forward. Left leg is coming all the way through. Good. Go ahead and take that right knee down to the floor. Got it. Good. And here, option to grab those weights whenever you're ready. The 
arms will reach up to the sky. Just take a moment just to spread the hips off. Since they're inner thighs, a little squeeze of inner thighs. Take the big house reach up. And on the exhale, we're going to bend those elbows. Inhale, reach up, neck the palms. So we're bending the elbows. Also open the chest. So press elbows back the chest. And then inhale, reach up, neck the palms. Four times. Exhale, squeeze shoulder blades together. Inhale, so reach up. Let's take one more. Knee arms down, knuckle to knuckle, elbows slightly lifted, shoulders relax. Option to raise up that back knee now. And then just take a moment here, careful not to arch low back. Pull your rib cage, soften back knee. Good. On your inhale, open the arms, open the chest. And on your exhale, bring those knuckles right back together. You got it. As the arms open, we're challenging the core a little bit more this morning. Looking into all of the fibers of the biceps, deltoids. Super nice. Right hip forward. So a little squeeze on that right bum. Let's go for three more. Last two. Last one. We're going to hold those arms out. Turn the palms to face up. Be careful not to lock out the elbows. Let's turn into warrior two. Uh, warrior two. The back toes, either in line with the back of the mat or a little turn in 10 degrees. There we go. Spine nice and straight in the center. That tuck of the tail, kind of picture your ears, shoulders, ribs, hips all lined up. Bending into that front knee, working towards that 90 degree angle. Good. Let's inhale, straighten out the front leg, reach up, connect the palms. Exhale, bend the knee, gaze forward for the warrior. And as you reach up, gaze up to the sky. And then gaze forward. So your Krishna, your gaze will change as you move. It's all about moving with your breath. Inhale to straighten and reach up. And exhale to bend into the knee. Careful with the knee. Be always gently moving to the left here. Let's take a few of these. These are just a really nice way to open the hips. Find all the body parts. Front big toe, back pinky toes. Go for one more. And let's hold this one here. Good. Right arm goes behind the back. Left arm comes up. This is your peaceful warrior, your dancer's warrior. You're still trying to hold on to that nice lunge in the front knee. So good. Big deep breaths here. Such a nice stretch into the rib cage as you turn the ribs to the sky. Let's, let's inhale it back. We're gonna hold it right here. We're gonna turn to face forward, so heels in line. Toes can turn in at about parallel position. Good. Yes, all right. Let's take those arms out to the side again. Arms will face up. Good. And then from here, we're gonna bend into the knees. And then straighten the legs a few times. So just a few bends and stretches to start. We're adding in pretty quickly here. Good. Soften the shoulders, soften the elbows. Very easy to get into the neck. A couple more times. And start to turn the heels in and the toes out now. So going into a little bit more of a, a goddess pose. So your knees always track in line with your toes here. So careful not to turn out too, too much. Energetically feel like you're pulling your heels towards each other. This next one, we're going to hold it down. Good. Take the knuckle to knuckle again at the center of the chest. Right heel lifts, left heel lifts. Just inhale and exhale. There's not necessarily a right or wrong for the breath here. Just breathe. Yeah. Spine is straight. So imagine that you are sliding down an imaginary wall. Mm -hmm. A couple more times. I'm going to take those feet and flatten the feet out. And I want you to tuck your tail under you like you're gently pressing your pubic bone forward. And then stick your bum out and a little bit of a back bone. A little tuck. A little stick out. A little tuck. And stick out. You can't help but smile when you do this because it actually feels really good. Try not to let your knees move. Your knees stay wide. One more tuck. And one more squeeze. Good. Find neutral. A gentle curve in your low back. Now shift your hips right. And left. So think of squeezing right rib to right hip and then left rib to left hip. Right? Yes. And left. Knees. They stay pretty steady. Good. One more time each side. Good. Come back to center and now draw some circles with your pelvis. Forward and back. Draw some nice tucks and extends. Tucks and extends. Nice little circles. Mm -hmm. 
finding the center and reversing directions a few more times. And then we'll find the center. Might have to show up your distance a little bit. We're still heels in and toes out. We're going to take it into goddess pose. So find those goddess arms, 90 degree angle. On your inhale, straighten the legs, the arms. Gently press hips forward, lift chest, gaze up, adding a gentle back bend. Keep the elbows slightly soft though, press lots of locked out. And then bend the knees, come right back to the goddess pose again. So we're going from goddess to star. Star, everything straightens, we open the chest, gaze up. And then we gaze forward, sit right back down like you're sliding down that wall. Take a few rounds. Inhale to star. Exhale to your goddess. Knees wide, in line with your pinky toes. Let's go for three. Holding it down. We're going to finish off with some pulses here. Mm -hmm. Keep those arms right where they are. Just little pulses. Spread all the toes. Pinky toe to big toe. We're all staying down. Mm -hmm. Little breaths. We go for five. Go four. Three. Two. And then last one. Turning back to warrior. One more time. Mm -hmm. Left foot forward. Right leg is straight. Gaze forward. Turn the palms up. Take an inhale breath, and on your exhale, windmill the arms, find the floor, set those weights down, step back, find a plank. So hold the inhale breath. And on your exhale, gaze forward, option to take those knees down, or chaturanga, lowering down, pulling the heart through, finding baby cobra, or hands by ribs, push up more, arms straighten, and you squeeze the shoulders together. Upward facing dog, maybe the thighs move the floor. And tuck your chin, face up your navel, and move from the tummy and all the energy in your pelvis to find your downward facing dog. Hold it for Take it a moment, knees down, knees wide, big toes touch, take a child's pose for a moment. Reach for a block when you're ready. A block or whatever you'd like to use to squeeze between your knees, that's coming. High up between inner thighs, a little bit higher than the knees. Good. And then we're going to find two little positions up the toes. And we're going to hug those knees again and squeeze the block. So the feet will be low, a little close to the middle. Push the floor away from you for that nice, strong, hollowed out in our hips. Good. Take a breath, we're going to hold the block and take a downward facing dog. Just the feet as you need, close to the neutral. Good. Lift up your heels. Press your hips back, look forward, and then shift forward to plank. Hold the plank for a moment, close your window, tuck your tail, or in the rib cage. Now try not to change the feet. Knees bend, a downward facing dog, maybe heels come back. Heels lift, look forward, lift your forward like a wave. Exhale, moving back into your downward facing dog. Take a few hands here. Heels lift. Look forward. Ripple forward into that beautiful plank. Option here just to play and stay in down dog. Take that child's pose anytime you need. With that block, cushion, towel, whatever you have between your inner thighs, that gentle squeeze. Your core is everything from inner thigh to armpit. It's a little extra work into the tummy here. We'll go for two more rounds to get your pace. Nice. One more time. The next time you hit your down dog, you're going to stay right there. From down dog, look forward. Try not to lose the block or the cushion that you have between your legs. Good. Go back to your down dog. Hold it there. Just gently gaze forward. You're going to walk from your tippy toes. Lift up your heels. Walk all the way to the top of the mat as best you can. <laughs> That's good. Bend your knees. Fold forward and hold it there. Yes. Let your belly come to your thighs. Just take a halfway lift. Hands to shins or the floor. 
Press the heart forward, try to lengthen your spine, flat back, bend your knees and forward. Let's take two more of those. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, look forward. One more. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, to forward. Good. Let's inhale, rise all the way up, connect the palms. Face to the thumb, tuck the tail, reach up, gentle back your head here. And then hands can come to your heart. Good. And do that one more time. Inhale, reach up. Connect the palms, reach up, gentle back bend. Exhale, bend your knees and fold yourself forward. Drawing in the tummy here, protect your back. Inhale, flat back, halfway lift. Good. Plant the hands, step, maybe jump back to a plank. Yes, you have the block, try not to lose it. Uh -huh, good. If you've lost it, it's okay, just put it back there. Take an inhale, look forward. Good. Exhale, move through the vinyasa. Knees can come down as you need. Either a cobra or up dog on your inhale. Exhale is where we meet, downward facing. Good. Be there for a moment. Enjoy that nice stretch in your spine. So you're going to open your legs a little wider now. You're going to let that block drop to the floor. Don't worry. We'll get it out of the way soon. It's all good. <laughs> good. Inhale the right leg high. Look forward. Shift forward. Right leg is coming all the way through. We're going to meet in runner's lunge. So runner's lunge. You're nice and low down. Feeling like you could run forward. Option there to reach for the weights. It's going to make this just a little bit more fun. And it's like, yes. And make our way up a little higher. Press lunge, soften the back knee, tuck tail, pull in your ribs. Alright. Find the triceps, so elbows in, shoulders back. We're going to hinge the spine forward, get heavy onto that front heel, high onto the back heel. Long spine. Exhale, press back, tricep press. Inhale, return. Exhale, squeeze triceps. Inhale, return. Good. Going through 10. So there's three, four. Good. Left hip is forward, right hip is back. Five, six, seven. Super nice. Ribs are pulling in, abdominals are tight. Last two. Last one. Good. Crescent lunge. Reach those arms into the air. Take an inhale. Exhale. Let's meet in warrior two one more time this morning. Warrior two. Option to raise up the front heel. Get a bit of work into the calf muscle. Good. Turn the biceps to face up. Bicep curls. Squeeze those biceps. Inhale, release. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, release. As you release, lower the heel down. And as you squeeze the biceps, lift the heel back up. A little play. Test your balance. Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, release. Good. Warrior two. So again, tuck tail. Ribs in and spine straight. Go for about five more. Trying to do the bicep curls. You have to always say which way to the head show. Nice ones. <laughs> Last two. Last one. Good. Release those arms. Find your warrior two. Take a moment here. Mm -hmm. Take an inhale. Now your exhale start to stretch forward. Forearm on the thigh, left arm can come up over the ear, palm down. And if that's too much, just raise your arm into the air, keep a softness to your elbow. So be careful not to feel that in the neck. Shoulder stays away from the ear, extended side elbow. I'm going to offer a little extra challenge for this one, because some of you that might want it. So you might take that bottom arm off of your thigh now, and bring it up close to your ear. So you're cleaning your ears with your arms. Uh -huh. Turn your chest to the sky. Mm, that's a nice one, right? So, put a little bit extra work into the core here. We'll try to hold this for a few more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Heavy to the front heel. One more inhale. One more exhale. Find your warrior. Take an inhale breath. Good. Exhale. Wiggle your arms. Find the floor. Step back. Let go of the weights. Find your plank. Hold the inhale breath. Exhale, move through vinyasa. We'll meet in down dog. Knees down or chaturanga. Good. Take a pause and up dog. Really open the chest. Downward facing dog. Inhale the left leg high. Good. Look forward. Left leg comes through. Good. Take a moment here. Find runner's lunge. Nice and low to start. Working on that back heel lifted. Runner's lunge, you're feeling like you're going to run straight forward. Good. Grab the weights if you'd like. Elbows in close to your body. 
keeping it out of the way. So a lot of work in the core to keep that spine lengthened. Draw a line from the back floor to the front of the head. Super nice. Yeah, let's start those tricep presses. Exhale, squeeze it back. Inhale to release. Exhale to squeeze. Inhale to release. Right at the very top of your thighs, there's a gentle, gentle squeeze going on there. That's how you keep those hips nice and level. Give about four more. Last four. Last one, the arms will stay straight. We'll reach the arms to the sky. Find pleasant lunge. Take an inhale breath. Exhale, moving into warrior two. Adjust so that your heels are in line. Back toes can turn in those 10 degrees. Turn the palms to face up and soften the elbows, please. Right, so bicep curls here. You can go for a few. Option to raise up that front heel to get a bit more into your calf muscle. Yeah? Right. So as you raise the heel, you bicep curl. Lower the heel, release the curl. Exhale to squeeze, and have to release. Imagine if you saw yourself in a mirror, right from the hips, through the ribs, to the shoulders, to the ears. One long line. Let's go for about five more. Four. Three. Last two. Last one. Let's hold our warrior. Back the heel down, rest the forearm on the thigh. And then go and take your right arm up to the sky. Over the ear can be a little bit too much in touch with the shoulder. Just be careful with the shoulder. Traditional extended side angle, the palm faces down and the arm is with the ear. Just be kind to the shoulder this morning. Keep the shoulder away from the ear. Choose to be here for a few breaths. Keep the hips gently pressing forward, back legs straight, spiraling rib cage to the sky. Adding in though, if you'd like, let's take that bottom arm off of the thigh. Both arms frame the face, chest turns to the sky. Actually, work in the core. <laughs> yes. We're going to hold this for about five minutes. Just kidding. <laughs> Another two slow deep breaths. Yes, it's a good one. Pull a little more chest to the sky. Actually, she goes sweet, so good. Nice. Let's inhale back to warrior. Oh, exhale to hold. Take one inhale breath. Exhale, window the arms, find the floor. You're going to hold this plank here. You're going to play a little bit with the side plank this morning. So side plank, take your left knee down. Tuck the toes. So option to keep the knee down if you like. Right leg straight. And right arm, you might lose a weight. If you're feeling okay, go into a traditional side plank. Stagger feet or stack one on top of the other. Okay, so knee down is a nice modification. Alright, right arm is going to come up over the ear, down towards the floor, out towards the wall behind you, and up again. So nice arm circles, keep a softness in the elbow. Those circles do not have to be big. And again, knee down, please, if you need. Tuck your tail, keep hips open, and ribs pulled in. One more time in that direction. And then reverse. Bottom armpit is hollowed out, so you're pushing that floor away from Knee down is not necessarily easy, so please modify as you need. And always take that top leg in the air if you'd like a little extra. <laughs> yes, good. Maybe go for one more. Nice. Arm gently comes over here. Let's all turn the chest to the sky. Take a big, deep stretch down the top side of your body. And then exhale, take it back to all fours. Go ahead and shake that out with a round of cat cow. Spread fingers. Shake your hips side to side. Loosen out those shoulders for a moment. And then the weight will go into your other hand. We'll do the other side. So the right foot will kick stand off the mat this time. And a little tuck of your tail. Lift your chest. So if I were to look you from the side, nice neutral spine with a little curve in your low back. And then the arm will come over to here, down towards the floor, out and around. Just think of your, your arm bone just circling gently in your hip socket. Your gaze just follows your arm as you move. Option to raise that top leg into the air, left leg if you like. If you have a hard time reaching the floor, you can always use a yoga block on your bottom hand. Take one more and go ahead and reverse directions there. So super careful in your side planks not to arch your back. Always a nice strong core here, ribs in, knee upon that pelvic floor lifts. 
Let's take one more time. Next time the arm comes over the ear, take a pause, turn chest to the sky. And just take a big deep stretch down your top side. And then exhale, take all fours. Lose the weights. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Go ahead and stretch. So open the feet so they're a little bit wider. Inhale, lift up your heels. I want you to twist your hips and your feet to their right. Maybe you can plant your feet all the way down. Lift up your feet again. And off to the left again. Open them up. Over to the right. Maybe each time, right to left. And as you try to plant the feet down, you'll get a really nice stretch down your hips, down your IT band, the sides of your quads. Still checking in the old down dog, always keeping the belly in, the gaze at the navel. Take one more time here. And we'll meet back in down dog when you're nice and even. Start to gaze forward, that's where you're headed. Walk or maybe jump to the top of your mat. Take a fold forward, bend your knees. Inhale to lengthen and lift the spine halfway, flat back. Exhale, bend your knees and fold. Inhale, let's rise all the way up. Neck the palms, gaze up, gentle backward. And then as we come through your front leg. Okay, use weights in the block for the next time. So grab the block, and two heels in your thighs again. Weights always optional. Okay. Move into a chair pose, pose katasana. Okay. So maybe you're hugging to the legs. Exhale, bend the knees, sit into your chair. Tuck your tail a little, lift your chest. Soft the elbows for sure here. So still energy up through the arms, energy down through the heels. Good. Give that block a nice little squeeze. One more inhale, reach out. Exhale, take those hands to the heart again. So have those knuckle elbows are lifted. I'm going to try not to move your hips or your knees. Take a big breath. Exhale, twist off to one side. Inhale, hold and open the arms like you're going to use before. Exhale, close the arms. Inhale, back to center. So only thing moving is you're twisting from the ribs. The knees are moving to the knee. Inhale, open the arms. Move the knees over. That's good. Close the arms. Inhale, back to center. Stay strong with those legs. Squeeze your bum. Twist. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Inhale, center. Smiling helps. One more time. The other side. Take a breath in now. Exhale, fold forward for a moment. We'll keep those weights in our hands. Take a moment just to shake the legs a couple times. I'm going to go right back there again. Good. Bend the knees. Sweep the arms up. Chair pose. Pull the pass down. Good. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, lower the heels. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, lower. Upper body back. Ribs tuck in. Let's go for three more. Lift and lowers at the heels. Find some balance. So strong inner thighs. If you don't have a block, just legs together. Last two. Last one. Heels lift. And lower. Good. Take an inhale. And lower all the way down. Forward fold. Close the weights. Inhale, halfway lift. Good. Exhale, plant the hands. Step or jump back. Take a plank. <laughs> yes, good. Hold for the inhale. Good. Exhale, move through vinyasa. We'll meet in downward facing dog. Try to hold on to that block if you can. Nice, you guys. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and let the block fall to the floor. We'll take care of it later. Don't worry. Inhale the right leg high. Look forward. Right leg comes all the way through. We're meeting at warrior one. So back foot plants down. You might shorten your distance. Back foot can turn in about 30 degrees or so. Arms can raise to the air. Option to have those weights again if you like. Right? Build a sculpt. So if you like them, they're there for you. Uh -huh, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. Little mm -hmm. we'll heavier ones, so you're okay with what you got. These are lighter. <laughs> it's always good to have three sets of different weights. You never know. You never know when you're going to be invited to a yoga sculpt class. <laughs> All right. You're trying to keep your hips pretty square in warrior one. So left hip forward, right hip back. Tuck your tail under. Up on one, are you ready? Take your inhale. 
Lightning spike forwards that turns back. Okay, now be careful not to try not to lose that bend in the front knee. You're hinging spine forward, long line from your ears all the way to that back heel. Mm -hmm. Nice action. Let's turn those back heels in a little bit more. Left and over, go forward. Aha. Yes. And we'll pull out four more. So think of your rib and hip connected by like a big safety pin, and they're connected. So your spine doesn't bend here. It's nice and straight. Last two. Last one, Hands can come to your hips for the moment. We're not going to here. We're short the distance a little bit. Back foot can come in a little bit closer. We're going to go all the way down to the floor. Weight's onto the floor. And it's that right glute and press all the way up. Left leg is a bit straighter. All the way right here, slide forward. Standing L. Just take a few little bits of bends of your front knee and then extend. A little bend and then extend. Good. Pull for four more. Heavy, heavy into that front heel. Last three. Long, long spine here. Long neck. Last two. Last one. Good. Step back. Need in warrior one. No need for the weights here. Reach the arms up. Big up. Exhale, take the floor, step back. Moving through optional vinyasa, knee in downward facing dog. Good. Inhale your left leg high to the sky. Good. Look forward, come through. We'll meet in warrior one. Warrior one does not have to be quite as big as warrior two. Back foot turns in. Work on right hip forward, left hip back. Heavy in your front heel. Good, let's raise up those arms, spine and warrior. Mm -hmm. Now hinge the spine forward as the arms go back. Feet back in warrior one on your inhale, jump. Exhale, long line, right? No bend in the spine. So if you have a strong core, no problems in your back, you might be able to go a little bit lower down. But for some people, that movement is very small. It doesn't have to be too big. Rib and hip connects, no back bending for this nice straight spine. Right hip is staying forward. We've got two more of these. Last two. Last one here. Coming all the way through. Good. Take those weights down to the floor. Good. Walk the back foot in a little closer. Tent the fingers like a spider. It's like you walk forward. Your left thumb's working pretty hard. Yes. Good. Try to keep right hip down. Right toes flex to the floor. Just a few bends and stretches into that front knee. Little bend. Power through the heel to press up. Inhale to bend and then exhale to press. Trying to keep that right leg up and straight. Just the front knee is bending. No need to worry about tapping the floor too much. That's a lot of work in that left thumb. Let's go for three. For two. For one. Good. Now this time coming up, bring your right foot to meet your left. Feet together if you can this time. Toes and heels touch. Bend your knees. Reach up. No need for the weights. Chair pose. Boot the top now one more time. Your chest. Tuck tail. Heavy in your heels. And then play at the end here. Lift up your heels. And start to stand all the way up. Tuck your tail. Push your hips forward. Reach to the sky. And then the arms and the heels can come all the way. Feet together, reach forward, palms down. Okay, press it all the way down on your back, very close to If that doesn't feel good, just sit down carefully. You'll be on the back here. Okay. Finish it off this one. Last little bit here. Good. Grab weights if you would like, just last little bit. Okay, we're going to roll up your sit bones, lean back, go behind your legs, and start to come off the mat. You can hear how they're going to be careful. So keep going down. Both toes, the last one. Hands can be on the side of your legs. Underneath, you can a little bit of support. Feet can come a little higher. Maybe you sleep here to go. Arms out. And back in. Pretty nice way to work before. Nice and swiftly. You can also add in, not touching the head, just the shoulders. Legs extend. You pull back up. Inhale out. Exhale in. Maybe you're just holding your boat, holding still, and just enjoying that feeling of strength in the core. 
can go for about five more of those. Last five. Woo. Last four. Feel free to open the mouth, let out some air if you need. Last two. Last one. Good. Now lower all the way down to your back. Very slowly, one foot to the half. It's fine. Nice work this morning. Who's the weights? All done with those weights. Hugging to your chest. Give yourself some love. Rub side to side. One little piece at a time. Draw some circles around your low back. We'll keep the knees together. Make sure the weights aren't in the way. We're going to take those knees off to the right side. A gentle twist here. Arms up to the side, either straight arms or perhaps cactus arms. Try to keep those shoulders down, gaze off towards the left. Let's take a few breaths here. Just get a nice stretch into the hips. If you're feeling pretty open, you might straighten your top leg. I know a lot of you might have your favorite twists that you like to do, but this is a nice gentle one. Take a big breath in through your nose. Open the mouth, exhale out some air. Good. Bring those knees back together. No rush. Go ahead and take yourself to the other side. Knees to the left, you gaze to the right. No sharp pain in low back. Never any sharp pain. A little stretching, sometimes a little discomfort. Calming some new body parts, some new stretches. Just make sure here that you're taking big deep breaths, please. One more breath. Make your way back to center. And as we started today, go ahead and stretch your legs straight. Reach your arms overhead. Take that big stretch again like you just got out of bed. Open the legs a little wider, point your toes, flex your feet a few times. Maybe shift your hips side to side if that feels nice. Making your way into Shavasana. Arms to the side, palms face up. Beautiful work this morning, everybody. Thank you for joining us. I'm here at the Crescent Beach Club. My name is Michelle. This is my beautiful friend Ashley. Thank you for joining us on a beautiful day. My heart's yours.